Today I'm working on a 2008 Volkswagen Jetta with a P0456 fault, a small EVAP leak detected. I um, just wanted to show you guys something real quick. Um, when I see a fault like this, first thing I do is I check the gas cap. That's typically the best place to start. You know, you can get it off the car quickly and just kind of look at the seal. If you don't see any cracks in the seal and it appears to be in really good shape, then you want to start checking other things. Usually the, the next step on most models of cars I work on anyways on this European stuff is the EVAP purge valve. It's usually local. Sometimes it's easier to get to and sometimes it's harder. Um, there's some engines, the timing chain two liter where it's underneath the intake. It's a little more tricky to get to, but this is the timing belt motor, the FSI. And um, it's kind of right here off the front. So it's not that bad to get to. The way you would check this is if you have a little vacuum tester like this, that's real nice. But if you don't, you can just kind of wipe it off real good and use your mouth. Um, all you want to do pretty much is this is positioned this way. So the it's this way to the intake manifold. So basically you just want to check and make sure that it's shut with it disconnected both ways. Um, so if I put the vacuum tester on it, pushing this little straw onto the end like this, and then I pull vacuum on it, it should hold vacuum. As you can see this one, when I try to pull a vacuum on it, it just completely loses it right away. I have the new one here so I can show you um, this one, it tests bad this way, which is the most important way, just based on the direction of flow. That's the way you're supposed to do it anyways. That's the most important way. You can see there's always an arrow on it. See the arrow? So I'm pulling vacuum on it this way. So this should be shut this way. The other way, it happens to be shut on this one, but um, it could be open and it's not necessarily a concern. Just worry more about the, uh, the worry more about how it does versus the direction of flow. The last time I tested it, it was anyways, but right now it's it's also leaking. Here's the new one. You look at the direction of flow on the valve. I'm pulling vacuum on it this way. Pushing this back on. And as you can see here, it holds vacuum. So pulling vacuum on it, it holds just fine. That's the problem. That's the small leak detected. This vents the charcoal canister into the intake. And um, it's a, a symptom of this would be after you add gas to your car, it does a long crank before it starts. What's happening is all those fuel vapors are just dumping a bunch of fuel into your intake because this is open, it's just like a straw inside. So that fuel vapor is making your car run rich on hot startup and you'll notice a long crank before it fires up. That's typically the symptom, but that's it. Just something to check. If you don't have that, like I said, you can suck on this with your mouth and it sounds gross, but you can kind of use your tongue to plug this up and then uh, make sure it's holding vacuum on your tongue, basically, if you don't have something like this and you're just trying to do it real quick. So that's it. Thanks for watching.